So, since I turned 40, like, y'all, I eat ice so much. It's ridiculous. Like, my husband brought me an ice maker for Christmas, and I love it. I eat ice all day, especially when I'm at home. Now, before everybody becomes a doctor and want to tell me what's wrong with me, I've already seen my doctor, and me and her are already coming up with a solution. Okay? Thank you, Dr. Gay. So, because people be all, you need to do this, you need to do that. Uh, I'm good. But the reason why I wanted to say something was because, oh, my bad. It's because I noticed that if I eat certain kind of eyes, it messes up the top of my mouth. Now, I'm willing to go through that pain when I eat other food just so I can eat some ice. Ain't that crazy? I'm, I'm willing to sacrifice physical pain so I can satisfy my flesh with a substance. We do it all the time in relationships, friendships, business, work, people, places, things. We sacrifice our feelings just to make sure everybody else is okay. Why? And I can't judge you because I got a cup of ice upstairs. But you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cut down on how much I eat so I can allow myself to heal. I'm not going to constantly keep eating ice and turn up the top of my mouth. Then when I get ready to eat other food, it hurt. No. I'm going to say, okay, queen, it's time to put the ice down. Let yourself heal for a few days. And then you can go back to it. Instead of saying, okay, you can suffer through it for a few minutes. And, you know, then you won't eat nothing. You know, you just be able to eat something soft tonight. No. I got to get it out. I got to stop. It's not making me any better. So think about that. Stop allowing yourself to suffer just so your flesh can be satisfied. Mm -mm. You're, you're stronger than your flesh. So act like it. When your flesh tell you, ah, oh, we tired, we're going to stay in the bed. No, we're not. We're getting up. Let's do this. When your flesh tells you, oh, they saying this about you. I don't care. I'm still going to do it. We have to allow ourselves to be stronger than our flesh. Because sometimes your flesh will talk you out of a lot of stuff. Mine does. It talked me in some stuff and it talked me out some stuff. But I'm getting stronger now. So now I know how to say pipe down, Pip. I got this. So let's quiet our flesh and make sure our spirit is louder. Let's start making sure that we're making ourselves happy and not just staying in the around pain just to satisfy other people. Okay?